pale. I don't think the vampires would be stupid enough to attack us here, but you never know. Please, they've attacked us here twice already. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Sherry, this way. I don't remember who said to come here to the College of Winterhold. It was probably that vampire. But anyway, let's, uh... Just like anywhere else, it's all about who you See if we can't find some information on the Elder Scroll. Examine catalog. A catalog of withdrawals and returns from the Arcanium. Okay. All right. Older gentleman, let me come over here and talk to you since you don't seem to I don't want to see you to treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Eleanor, yes, whatever. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. Okay. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium. And I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? You can save the threats, old man. I'm not impressed. I'm here looking for an Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? I do know what I'm asking about. There are dire things going on in Skyrim that you're unaware of. So I'm going to ask you again, do you have one here? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. All right then, well... I do need to find the Elder Scroll urgently, and I was told that you could help. I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. What oh. we do have are plenty of books. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. <laughs> leavened, huh? All right, then. All right, then. I'll read whatever you've got. It's over here in this jar. Is this something I could take? Pegasus. Okay, he's not gonna miss that. It'd certainly be nice on display at the Dragonborn Gallery. What? Is he gonna come back with the books? I hope so. The Shrine of Julianos. Just by looking at this sculpture's stable form, I begin to feel calmer. Oh. Okay. Can I look at all these things? An Adric Daydream. An intricate piece of artwork by an unknown religious scholar. <laughs> More illusion, huh? The Sorrow of Mara. An intricate piece of artwork by an unknown religious scholar. Conjuration. Did I look at this? Apotheosis. Apotheosis. Of Shalador. I guess I did. Okay, well, that was interesting. What else has he got in here? What's this book do? This tome contains astronomical measurements derived from the Alftan calendar. Okay. Anything in here? These are materials that are being used for study. 
Oh, I shouldn't touch them, okay. Um, Sherry, do you think we were supposed to follow him? I thought we were getting good um, service here and he was going to go and get the books and bring them back, but come on. I don't think that's what he intended. As grumpy as he is. Oh, hello. I'm waiting. What are you waiting for? Is there anything I can help you with? Nah, I don't think so. Okay, All then. Right, then. Um, I don't want to see rag. you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Yes. All right, then. Um, do you have the books for me? Come on, follow him. Here you go. Oh, Try okay. not to spill anything on them. Well, I don't have anything to spill except my blood. And you better hope that that's not the case. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? Yes, I do, and you can ease up on the tone because it doesn't work on me. You need a book? You talk to me. Right. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself in a lot of pain. Well, so, so might you. I've been known to chop off I don't care if you wrote head. it yourself. If you want a book from here, look, you go through me. Look, are we going to sit here and have a, a, a contest? Of testosterone. The is always accepting new volumes. Dude. I'll take what I can get. Old man, be quiet. Let me look at these books. Yes. Oh, a golden quill. I'm taking this too. What do All you right. want? For the trouble and the rudeness. I'm trying to read this book. Neat. Okay, here we go. Wait. Imagine living beneath the waves with a strong-sided blessing of most excellent fabric. Holding the fabric over your gills, you would begin to breathe, drink its warp and woo. Okay, so this doesn't make any sense. Something? Oh, is this mm -hmm. a song? I saw something else. What's this here? Thompson, I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Look, I'm ignoring you. The um, curator of the Dragonborn Gallery would appreciate these things that you've got here. And thank you for letting me take them without this better be good. saying that I'm stealing. Okay. Hmm? Listen. This Ruminations book is incomprehensible. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. And where did he go? Is it, is it dead? Oh no, I hope not. But even I haven't seen him in years, and we were close. He came obsessed with the Dwemer, took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. Huh, okay. <coughs> I wonder how that man got to be the head librarian with that attitude. Come on, let's go. It's like they'll just let anybody be in charge of things these days. Even if they don't have the right personality or disposition for it. All right, let's head out into these old ice fields. I hope you're ready. It's cold out here. My lycanthropy can keep me from freezing, but at least you have a cloak on. Hopefully that'll help a 
little bit. Let's go. Now, why can't I hit this thing? Somehow it died, and I don't think I'm the one that hit it. What is it? Oh, we got a lot of stuff over here. Come on, let's get the high ground. Oh no, it's a whole family. And you know they're not gonna let us through. open. Alright, there's a lot of we need to discover out here. I'm sorry, save a cub. Alright, come on. I'll kill you if you stay. It's another one. What is this? It's like I've been here before, yet I haven't. doesn't look good. What? Oh, Nern. Am I hearing breathing? Sherry, you almost scared me. What is this? A tattered first mate log. Finally, we did it. After two weeks of hard work, we got the bloody thing inside the cargo hold. Oh no, there's something in here. We had to remove nearly half the planks on the main and lower decks. Even the knight commander himself went down on a daily basis to supervise. Whatever this thing is, it must be important. We cast off tomorrow morning back to Northwell. It's a three-week journey in ideal sailing conditions. I hope this thing is worth the trouble. Here's hoping for fair winds and calm seas for us all. Quiet day yesterday, but the crew seems uneasy. Lots of rumors flowing around about the cargo. Some lads say it's cursed. I try to laugh whenever I hear about it in order to keep them from worrying too much. Maybe I should give them some extra duties to keep them occupied. We went down to the hold today to check things out. Chains are holding up and everything seems to be in order. Strangest thing happened today. One of the lads came in carrying on about the cargo glowing red. I went down to have a look for myself. But there it was, just as I remembered it. The poor matey. Too much ale. I had a chat with the crew and we laughed the whole thing off. They seem to have calmed down, but the poor bastards are very superstitious. No one wants to go down there anymore. 
The captain threatened to cut the whole crew's wage by 20 crowns unless everyone got back to work. Something weird is going on. Some of the lads are acting very strange, complaining of headaches, hearing ghastly sounds. All this talk of the cargo being cursed is making everyone on board paranoid. To make matters worse, a storm is coming. I suggested to the captain that we try to go around it, but the bastard wants to head straight through it. A bloody fool. I need the lads to clear their heads if we're going to make it through this mess. Or the, just through this. Went downstairs again to check on the cargo and felt a strange sensation come over me. I don't like this one bit. We survived the storm, but got pushed far to the south. I don't know for certain where we are. The crew and I are exhausted. Couldn't get much sleep these past two days. Visibility is very poor, and it's getting cold. I'm afraid we are way off course. We saw ice flows in the sea today. Divines have mercy, it's freezing. Everyone on board is so worn out. I saw it glow for a moment. Perhaps the lad was right after all, or maybe I'm just going mad. It matters not. The poor soul died in his sleep last night from the cold. I'm sorry, that's, that's not funny, Sherry. So cold, getting harder to move around. The others are gathering around the cargo downstairs. They say it feels warmer down there. Oh my goodness, what is in here? What do you think? Should we really go and check? Oh, is what is that? That is not good. This is probably some kind of a gateway to somewhere. And I don't know if I open this. I don't know if we'll be able to get back anytime soon. We have a bigger problem with the vampires to deal with. Come on, let's get out of here. Mark this on, on the map so we know that this needs to be investigated at some point. Probably need to, to bring a whole troop of Dawn Guard. thought this was gonna be a an easy stop off here but let's keep going Lost Beacon. I knew I hadn't seen this before. Uh-oh. Get off. Alright. Discord creatures and people up to level 14 will attack anyone nearby. 30 seconds spreading chaos among your enemies. Alright, well, need to mark this on the map too. Let's, 
One of those things that we need to come back to one day. I can't believe there's all this out here in these frozen wastes. This must be the outpost. All right, Sherry, wherever you are, I'll meet you inside. There you are. Okay. Oh, what is that? That can't be a sky shot, can it? Usually always outdoors. Wow. This is... <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. It looks like some sort of crystals or something down here. That are causing that... Energy projection. Hello. Sir? Sir? When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. I heard you know about Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. <laughs> the ones they thought they saw. I know of one, forgotten, sequestered, but I cannot go to it, not poor Septimus, for I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Okay, so wh where is this scroll? Here. Here. Well, here as in this plain, oh, Mondus. I thought you had it. Nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. All right, well, can you help me get this Elder Scroll? One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. Of course. What do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. What? Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Dwemer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> so, how do you get to Blackreach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Of Tan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Blackreach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. 
All right, well, poetry aside, how do I get in? Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Hmm. All right. Well, thank you for these things. So, tell me, what do I do with the sphere? The deepest doors of Dwemer listen for singing. It plays the attitude of notes proper for opening. Can you not hear it? Too low for hearings? No, I can't hear it now. Maybe if I turned into a werewolf, I could. So, what do I do with the cube? To glimpse the world inside an Elder Scroll can damage the eyes or the mind as it has to Septimus. The Dwemer found a loophole, as they always do, to focus the knowledge away and inside without harm. Place the lexicon into their contraption and focus the knowings into it. When it brims with glow, Bring it back, and Septimus can read once more. And what do you want with the Elder Scroll? Ooh, an observant one. How clever to ask of Septimus. This Dwemer lockbox. Look upon it and wonder. Inside is the heart. The heart of a god. The heart of you and me. But it was hidden away. Not by the dwarves, you see. They were already gone. Someone else, uh, unseen, unknown, found the heart and with a flair for the ironical, used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all-sight given by an Elder Scroll. All right, then. I suppose I should ask, what is an Elder Scroll? You look to your left, you see one way. You look to your right, you see another. But neither is any harder than the opposite. But the Elder Scrolls, they look left and right in the stream of time. Mm. Now the future and past are as one. What? Sometimes they even look up. What do they see then? What if they dive in? Ah, then the madness begins. All right, well, I'm sorry you lost your mind, but thank you for your help. If you don't mind, I'd like to take a look at some of the things over Dear, here. What is this? A red god in a jaw and his head cut off. Depths. I'm gonna take this out of here. You don't need that. I hate to display that in a museum. What have we got in here? Nothing. Oh, fire salts, but it would be stealing. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the map. Some old apex. That's a shame. Here are the fire salts I need for Balaman. And this crazy old man would probably. I don't know what he would do. Curious, what's this? Amulet of sanguine nimble armor. Is there a value on this? Let's 
take that. He doesn't seem to mind. Oh, what's this? That can't be good. Moving text in a book. How long will it be, son? My feet were set upon rock, but it turned to mud and drew me down. I hope you don't mind me, uh, borrowing these books. I'll bring them back when I... It done. licked the panes and smokes the glass. see this engraved ring of healing okay so this is this uh Dwemma contraption that he's going on about it's like some sort of a enormous Dwemma cube we found this. And his studies drove him insane. At least he's eating. Look at this. He's got some fish here. He's going out and getting fish and eating food. Got some salt to season it. He's not completely mad, but he's close enough. All right, Septimus. We'll be getting out of your way. So, according to what Septimus is saying, we need to go to Alftan. But before we do that, I need to go back to uh, Fort Dawnguard. Is there anything out here? Need to go back to Fort Dawnguard and talk to Serene. Come on, let's go. Is it a good thing that these gates are open? Hail. I don't think the vampires would be stupid enough to attack us here, but you never know. Please, they've attacked us here twice already. So yes, they are stupid. Need something? What now? Oh. Need something? Yes. Chain, you changed your uh, armor. Okay. Need something? Gunmar. We're serene. Well, look at everybody all cozy over here. She's she's up working. Hope you're getting along with Isron. He takes some getting used to. Yes, I'm sure. But if you've talked to him, you know that he's my father, so. I like what Isron has done with the place. It's good to see someone else who's really We're learning prepared. to tolerate each other. I'm Serene. Do you have a moment? Gunmar and I have been talking and well, we're slightly worried. We both realized that if Isron's even allowed us in here, 
He must be really concerned. And if he's that concerned, the situation must be pretty bad. Make sense? Um, yes, you're worried about what we're up against. Yes. These vampires are a new threat, and a truly deadly one. Gunmar and I agree that we're going to need Florentius to help. Gunmar and I have a lot of work to do here, so we were hoping that maybe you could track him down. Um, who is Florentius? He's a priest of Arche. Oh, okay. Well, he was. It's, what? It's complicated. He's a little eccentric, but we can trust him, and we could definitely use his skills. Where can I find him? Well, that's the thing. We don't know where he is. Haven't seen him in years. I think he had regular contact with the Vigilance, and I know Isran kept track of them. So maybe you could ask Isran if he knows anything? Just keep in mind that he... well... he might not like the idea. Uh-huh. Um, Serene. I'll speak with Isran, but I need to well, talk to this you. This isn't exactly a palace, is it? Still, it's sturdy, secure, and seems defensible. Mm-hmm. Yes. I suppose I'd rather be here than most other places in Skyrim. If Isran needs me, it must be pretty bad. He needs all of us. I wonder what we're up against here. All right, so... When I was out, uh... Looking for sky shards and ways of making myself stronger to deal with the vampire menace. I found this enhanced crossbow schematic at White Bluff Hideout. You never disappoint. What have you got there? Hmm, I see. Clever dwarves. With a similar technique and a little tinkering, I should be able to improve the capabilities of our crossbows. I often wonder where we'd be if the Dwemer were still around. Oh well. We'll have to manage with the scraps we find. Here, let me show you how it's made. Assuming you have the smithing skills, you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. Either way, I'll have some for sale soon. All right, good. Can you teach me to be a better marksman? I can certainly try. Thank you. And I know you're setting me up, so I just have to ask, you know, because I'm, I'm Isran's son, you think he has a soft spot for me. And that may or may not be true, but anyway, why wouldn't Isran like me asking about Florentius? The two of them just never got along. That's why Isran didn't have you go looking for him when he sent you after us. Hmm. Okay. Well, so be All it. All right, then. Be careful. I'm just walking. Excuse me. All right, let's see. What do we need here? So while I'm here, we might as well speak with Isran. I don't know. Have, have you have you met my father? Come on. I'm sure he's up here sleeping after telling everybody else that they shouldn't. But it's good to see people getting their rest. for the week. You keep saying that, but there you are sleeping. Um, let's see. So, let me ask you, now that you're awake, you heard the scroll reading. W what is your, your feeling about Serana? I heard a lot of vague nonsense. 
You could interpret that a hundred different ways. Only thing that stood out for me was Ariel's bow. That's a powerful weapon, and I sure as oblivion don't want the vampires to get hold of it. The Moth Priest can stay here for now. As for the vampire, I still don't trust it, so keep it on a leash. No, oh, I've, I've sent her off. She's not even around anymore. I'll meet up with her one of these days. So, let's see. Um, gosh, I, I hate to... Uh, Serene wanted me to talk to you about finding somebody named Florentius. Who said something? Serene or Gunmar? I thought they'd have learned their lesson by now. I don't trust that man. <laughs> and I don't want him here. Okay. Well, I, I hear you. But Serene thought we'd need his help. I hear that he was a priest of R.K. And people with powers like that are very uh, effective against vampires. I suppose she's right. I shouldn't let my personal feelings get in the way. Last I heard of him, he was aiding the vigilance of Stendar at Runvald. He may still be there. If he can maintain some appearance of normalcy... Normalcy? I'll allow him to stay. What? What is going on here? All right. Well, thank you for your permission. Um... Let's see. No, I think I, I have my uh, heavy armor as, as it should be. All right. Good night. Look at you. Telling everybody else not to sleep and look at you. Um, yeah. That's my father, Isran, over there. Anyway, let's go.